Hello, uh, my name's Patrick Daly. I'm the fire chief in Spirit Lake, Iowa, uh, which is in the northwest corner of Iowa. Uh, I've been uh, a chief there for the last 10 years. I've been on the department for 40. Uh, we're a little town that has uh, probably 5,000 people permanent, but on the 4th of July, we'll hit close to 150, 200,000 people just in our area. So we had to come up with a truck that would take care of all of our uh, rescue needs. Uh, right now we're shorthanded like every volunteer company is. Um, so we got rescue stuff on three trucks. Sometimes we don't get that third truck. So that's why we, we sat down and we drawed this out and these guys did a great job putting it together for us. Uh, this is just one of the compartments. Uh, somewhere we have a schematic what's gonna go in there. <laughs> Uh, but we do have a light tower up on top. Uh, we'll be able to stand that up and light the whole neighborhood up so we can see. Um, this is another one. We just had some space, so we went ahead and, and made that. This is our... Uh, we do have a ladder up here, and then these other trays pull out. Okay, and then we also... Um, We also came up with this for re rope rescue. So we can tie onto there and hook our ropes. We got one on each side. This is where we're gonna start with some of our four by four cribbing. Um, we'll have them all in melt cases, they'll all slide in there and uh, take care of them that way. This is gonna be uh, where most of our hand tools and stuff go. Um, these actually come out and we'll be able to mount stuff on both sides. So all of our tools will be up, not in a big pile on the floor. And we got three drawers here that pull out. We are also in an uh, agricultural area, so we have a lot of corn dryers and corn bins, so we actually have a set of tubes that we can put uh, around somebody trapped in the corn. That's going to go in here. Tripod for confined space is going to go in here. Uh, we have a, a plastic boat type deal that folds up and it's for ice water rescue and it's really good, so that slides into there. We did go ahead and we, we upgraded. They uh, talked us into this ladder, which I'm really, really grateful they did. Uh, it just makes it a whole lot easier. Up on top, we got a couple more ladders and we have uh, a couple coffin containers up there. That's basically where most of our ropes are gonna go for high angle ropes, okay? This is where our extrication equipment's gonna go. We got two cord reels that we can do the hydraulics on. Um, and here again, they'll be mounted on this one and that one. They both slide out. And then our pump will set on here and it slides out also. We have airbags so we can lift some of the cars. So we got two airbags can slide in here. And we also have plywood we put in there so we don't puncture uh, the airbag. So. And then this will just be some other extrication stuff that goes in there. Uh, here's the other, other uh, base for the uh, rope rescue stuff. This is the one that goes clear through, but the, the trays don't go. They only go halfway. So we can put stuff on there, all kinds of tools. We, got it, we put a big generator on this so we can run the light tower. And we got, uh, we put a cord reel on here so we got power so we can take it wherever we need to go and, and uh, have electricity to do fans and stuff like that. We put a four man crew back here, uh, SCBA set in the holders. Um, we're uh, all in communication on headsets so we can talk back and forth. This netted area here is where our gumbies are gonna go. Uh, we got several different sizes of gumbies to go in the ice. This side has a rail in it. 
and that will be for float coats and life jackets and stuff like that. They'll all hang in there. We do have a little extra storage underneath here, and we're going to get some manuals and stuff we're going to put in there. This is just another one of our big compartments. Um, we just bought a couple jacks, rescue jacks. If a car's on its side, uh, all the stuff for that's going to go into this compartment. So it's a two-man cab. Again, we got headsets up there. Uh, we also have a platform to put an iPad on, uh, so we can get better directions to where we're going. Because uh, sometimes we do. We do cross the state line. We do go into Minnesota several times. We have district in there is two miles. So we, we got that. Uh, we just came down today and we did the final inspection on it. Um, they did a great job on it. Um, we're going to take possession of it on the 17th. Uh, I have a board that controls my money. So we're going to make sure they're there. And then we'll get the rest of the guys there. And we'll actually have a training session on it but it should make it a lot easier to have all the uh, rescue stuff on one truck. <laughs> <laughs>